Hey everyone, it's Jen at Ink Paper Rubber. Well, we are closing out the week with a bang. We got a new memory box and poppy stamps order in today and some fun new things in this order. And I just wanted to come by and share it with you. First of all, I do have some older items. We had some special orders and I have some extras of some of those and some of them are seasonal, but they are still really great and you may want to go ahead and snatch them up while they're still available and while we have them. So I'm going to start with those older things first. First of all, back from their holiday release that was so popular, uh, that's when they came out with the concept of these frame dies. These are kind of mix and match dies that you can take pieces from one die and mix them up with another die. This one here is the pinpoint circle frame. You actually get three dies with this. You get the pinpoint circle frame there that you see on the outside. You get this pretty snowflake circle frame and then you also get an individual snowflake. And when I talk about the fact that you can mix them with others, here is another one from that release. This is the country church frame. And with this one, you can see that you get this pretty square outside frame. You get the inside circle frame, and it has the fence and the snow, but then you also get dies for the church and for the trees as well. So you get multiple dies in here. And if you want, you can use the circle frame from this one inside of the... Um, square frame from that one. This one here is not using that same square frame, it's using a different square frame, but the same principle applies and you can see in the center of that we have used the center snowflake circle frame and then we've added yet another die in the center of that. So lots of ways to use those even though they're a little bit more expensive you get a number of dies with them and you can do lots of mixing and matching. This is also another really great basic die for winter, the Fresh Pine Curved Border. Um, you get this hill that has all these lovely pine trees on it. And one of the most popular of their whittle animals that they introduced um, last fall is the whittle deer. You get the two little deer here, and you can see that the die does these little cut marks on them. Here is a sample of them, so it just gives them a little bit more detail and dimension. Some of you might remember that the um, the deer is one of the dies that we used when we made some really cute little pins back uh, last year during the holidays, so lots of fun to be had with that one. This is a very basic looking die set, the Equal Triangles die. You get some solid triangles, you get some striped triangles, you get some diamonds, and um, you may be wondering how you might use this, but wait until I show you some samples. This is um, a really amazing stamp set, lots of possibilities, and there is a matching die set as well that cuts out those triangles and diamonds. An oldie but a goodie is the Poppy Stamps Fairy Dies. This is the Magnificent Mini Fairies. These are little tiny fairies. This is actual size on here, so you can see here with my hand next to it how tiny they are. You get three little fairies and you get two different sets of wings and actually if you look closely at those if you leave the wings off they can be little ballerinas as well so that makes those extra versatile. Alright next up we're going to get into um, some newer things. Uh, these are ones that I think came out earlier this year. This one is called the Happy Jotted Script die when you actually get two dies with this you get a background die and then you get a thinner um, die and you can layer those two together and here are some that kind of were for Valentine's Day but I think that there are a lot of other uses that you could get from them this one is a cute little cupid with swing you actually get the swing die and a separate cupid so you could use either one of them on their own as well this one is the Heart Sprinkles Craft Die, and this one just cuts out all those hearts in the center. You can see that there's no solid line around the edge, so it does not cut that rectangle out. It just cuts the hearts out. You can then pop some pretty paper or something behind there, and it's also a great way to get lots of little heart confetti as well. And lastly, this one is called the Bundle Hearts Die. You get two little heart frames, and actually when I look at this, I see little heart balloons, so I'd add a little string on there and turn those into cute little heart balloons. All right, let's jump into the latest release. This is their spring release. We have some fun uh, spring and Easter things for you. 
as well as some all new ocean and sea and underwater themed products, which are always really popular. First of all, of course, we have to have some butterflies, and I really like this one. This one includes the circle frame. You can see it has that pretty detail on it that has the leaves and the flowers attached, but in addition, you get this pretty side butterfly die as well as the backer that goes behind it. So three different dies in that one. Here is another butterfly, and I really like the angle of this one. This one is very different from a lot that I've seen. This one is called the floating butterfly, and um, I just think that's really pretty. It does look like it's floating through the air based on the angle there. And little bird dies, we can always use some of those, and this is a new Whittle die. This is Whittle Birds, and you see you get these two little birds. They are small there facing in the different directions and again they have that little cut detail on them to give them a little bit of extra dimension. Mm -hmm. This is a new frame and it has the same whittle detail on it. It kind of looks like a log or a wood frame and this one you get two oval frames in here. Lots of fun things that you could put in the center of that like maybe this cute little whittle rabbit. I think he is adorable. Um, here we have a jumping bunny circle. You can use it by itself or it can go in the center of some of these other frame dies. Probably not the snowflake, but there's other ones that we've had and that will work in the center of that. I also really like this little bunny rabbit. He's called Peekaboo Bunny and I like how he is kind of peeking over the edge of that little frame there. This little layered lamb is really sweet and would be perfect for Easter. It comes in multiple pieces, so it's really easy to do different colors for his legs and his face um, and get a really nice layered look. And I think that this little chick and egg is really cute. You get the little broken egg and the little chick that you can have hatching out of that egg. All right, finally we get on to the sea and the underwater, and for this we have a number of different um, frame dies. The first one is the sailboat frame. You get lots of pieces on this one. You get this outer square frame that has the anchor and the rope detail. Then you get this inner circle frame that has this interesting detail on it and it has the water with the waves and it's interesting I've seen some samples of this these are actually cut through so you could actually if you wanted tuck the boat down in there or have some fish jumping out of there so that's really fun you also get some dies to construct the sailboat I'm pretty sure from looking at some samples that's three pieces the boat and the mast and then the two sails and then you also get these two little cloud dies so lots for your money in this one Next up, another frame die. This one is called Mermaid Wonder, and at the outer square frame has this pretty seashell and coral detail in the corners. Then we have the inside circle frame that has some seaweed, and then finally you get the mermaid that you can position however you would like in your scene, or use her on another card. This is a really fun sentiment set that is perfect with all of these underwater uh, themed dies. This one is called Oceanside Typewriter. So it has a typewriter font. They're pretty small and I know that it's kind of hard for you to see these on here but these are kind of punny sentiments that have an underwater sea uh, theme to them. Let me know how you are. Let me know how you are. Long time no see. S-E-A. Probably my favorite one. Let me see if I can find it. Water you up to. So those um, are just really fun sentiments, birthday fishes, to add to any um, cards that you might have that have an underwater theme. All right, here we have another frame. This one is the seashell circle frame. I just love that outer seashell frame. I think that is so pretty. And as an added bonus, you get those three separate seashells that come with it as well. And it looks like the this shell right here actually would be also a backer for those if you wanted to do that. And last but not least is this fun one. It is called Underwater Scene. And you can see it has a circle frame. And you could use that circle frame with some of these others. So you could use it with this outer frame on here if you wanted to. 
and that circle frame has some coral attached to it but then you also get these four cute little fish dies that come separately all right let me show you some samples here these are going to be a little bit random um, they just got saved bay in there and kind of name order and I did not name them so they're going to be very very random first up here you can see a sample of something done with that equal triangles isn't that fun and that is a jotted script die there but it is the thanks instead of the happy but it's similar to what the happy is there you can see the bundled hearts that's really simple but I think that's really striking here, oh, we are actually already sold out of the Happy Octopus. If you like him, you can have me order it. Here, they used part of the sailboat frame and just did a circle frame on there and made it look like you were looking out of a porthole. Um, here is the mermaid from the Mermaid Wonder frame. And these are the little fish from the underwater scene. And I think that is using Birthday Fishes is also from the typewriter set. Here is that cute little Cupid on a swing. And there is the um, heart, I think that one was called Heart Sprinkles. Um, you can see how cute that is with those bright colors underneath there. And here's another example of that one. Here we can see the underwater scene. Love the background on that one. Here's more with the equal triangles. And again, so fun. Here is the um, butterfly from the side butterfly circle. And here is that floating butterfly that is really pretty there. They've done an inlay technique, super easy to do. And here again is the side butterfly circle. Um, you can see now the uh, little flowers, white flowers, are from a different die, but the leaves and these flowers down here and the butterfly are all from that one set. Here is another cute little card using the Cupid Swing. And there is the seashell circle frame. Look how pretty that is. And, sorry, don't have him here, is another one using the sailboat frame. Now that outer frame is from a different set, so again, you can mix and match those. Here again is the sea salt shell frame. They've just done something really simple, um, used the white on the dark background. Here is that cute little chick um, coming out of the egg. And there is that lamb. I love how they've added kind of that flocking or textured um, paste on there. And there is that little bunny rabbit. He is just adorable. And there is the Whittle oval frame and also the little Whittle birds. And here we have the Whittle frame and the bunny and they've made a cute little shaker card. Hey there, Linda. And here are some other samples. There is the Pinpoint Snowflake circle frame. There is a pretty one with the Mermaid Wonder. And one with the sailboat. And there is another sample of the little whittled deer. And there's that little bunny circle. And the country church. And there's a sample done using the um, fresh pine border. All right, that is all that I have for you today. I hope you have some fun plans for this weekend to enjoy the nice weather. And we look forward to seeing you soon. Goodbye.